Get the grill ready because tonight we are having authentic Thai barbecue. This is episode three of Street Food Sunday. And today we have a special guest flying in all the way from America. It's Chad. <laughs> no, he did not fly in from America. Uh, what is your name? Oil. Oil. When's the last time you've been in a YouTube video? Okay, great. We are at the uh, Hoi Quang area and we are in Rio. Khao Tong Po Rung is the place for Mukata. Mukata is Thai barbecue and it's a really unique thing here. They give you a dome shaped grill and you can cook the meat and everything on top, but then there's broth around the sides so that you can cook vegetables and noodles and really anything you want. So you kind of have a two in one thing. So most of the Mugatas give you two grill choices. You have a flat grill for cooking your seafood, shrimp. You have a round grill for cooking pork and other uh, cut up meats. With that one, you have the broth on the outside and you can cook your vegetables, mushrooms, and whatever other little side dishes you get. There's nothing like eating street food in Thailand. It's almost like your last meal because you're so close to the street that at any point, a car could run off the edge and just destroy your whole table. To order the food, you have to shoot first. Uh, which option of pan you're gonna go with? This one is a uh, mukata. It's a pan with a broth. Uh -huh. This one is only the broth. And the last one is only the pan. So we go with this one. You can order like a la carte or the set that they already set up. So we will go with the jumbo set. Only $3.99. If you come to a local place like this, very important to bring a Thai friend because Foreigners like Chad and I have zero chance of understanding this menu because it's completely in Thai. So unless you look at the pictures or bring a Thai friend, some places might have an English menu, but you can't count on that. Um, so it's always an interesting experience if you're on your own. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more food videos in Thailand. I'm putting up so many more videos this month and we're trying to do a new street food video every single week. In the basket, we have wedgie and glass noodle and also egg. It's a, like a basic set and we also have dipping and chili and garlic. are in the Hoi Kwong neighborhood of Bangkok, which is a much more local area. Now Chad, you live in this area, right? And we've gone just for one month. I've kind of bounced around from neighborhood to neighborhood to try them all out and see which one I want to live a little bit longer term in. Lots of street food, low prices, and it's just an area I didn't spend much time in before. And we've got Oil sitting next to me here too. She's very shy. This is her first YouTube video. So if you want to see more of Oil, you've got to smash the like button and then we'll put her in every video from here on out. Now we've got everything on the grill. We've got some chicken, we've got some squid, we've got corn in here. And you see that we put mostly the meat on top and the vegetables and some of the seafood stuff in the broth. And whenever we think it's ready, we'll take it off and eat it. And we've got the, the sauce down here. So good. I first found this place when a Thai friend took me here after a night of going out to the bars and clubs and uh, we came here at like 3 a.m. We just asked them and they close at four in the morning. So if you're in Bangkok and you want some great food late at night, come out to Hoi Kwong to this place. I will put the info in the description. Oil over here just asked me for a, what did you call it? What do you call this? Tissue. Tissue, yeah, tissue. So back in the States, we might call this a napkin. In Thailand, they call it a tissue and it is literally worthless. They give you the smallest little piece of paper and actually, a lot of times, it's not even like a legitimate napkin. It's toilet paper they give you. I don't know why there are no real napkins in Thailand. I've said it before. I'm saying it right now. I'm going to start a campaign, and we're going to get real napkins into Thailand. Also, in Thailand, you never get a knife. You always just get a fork and a spoon. Never a knife. In Thai food, we cut everything for you. So 
we don't need to give you a knife. The origin of Thai food, we don't have steak that we have to use a knife to cut or anything else. We cut everything for you. So why Chai, you Chai. have to? Explain how they cut the food for you. Well, usually they use a pair of scissors. They chop everything into small bits and pieces for you. And you kind of wonder what happened to this the scissors before, where, what else were they used for? Because they use like a, the big meat and then they grill, grill and they have to use the scissor to cut because if they use a knife, they have to use the cutboard. You know, as sketchy as eating uh, Thai food, Thai street food can be sometimes, I've actually never gotten sick from eating street food here. I don't know why, I have gotten sick from restaurants sometimes, um, but never from street food. So add this to the list of reasons I love living in Thailand. This entire meal for the four of us came to 449 baht, which is less than 15 US dollars. This guy is like, what the hell are they doing? If you enjoyed this video, we have an entire playlist of street food Sunday videos. I will put it in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next video.